Okay, I had someone request a walk around with the machine. It's just got done with Tuesday's game. There's the plexiglass we got in there. Side over here. It's holding up the holding up the glass with the bungee cords. I'm gonna reshoot all that. Tape it off and reshoot it. Sand it down, reshoot it. Make it nice and smooth. Then on the back. Got the switch over there on your right. Got another fan in the back. That opening right there, I'm going to put a piece of plexiglass in it. Just to curve the hole up. That's the area that I cut out for the, uh, the loot box. That's the real thin material that I put in for that. So now on the next side. This side needs some more paint done too. It's still sitting on the sitting on that heavy plywood flooring material that I built it on. That extension cord right there is probably Oh, it's probably 15 foot long so if you build one of these make sure you keep it good and long my hinges over here see it just connects right there and don't even touch the glass it only touches the glass on the ends down here we got the Tinted plexiglass in the in the back back there. Got the monitor installed. Boy, that plexiglass on the front sure did help out today on playing the game. It's got a little bit of a gap there on the side door. That's good for ventilation though. It's really tight on this side. Got the speakers and the... I don't use a skill stop much. I kind of wish I would have put it over on the right. I wish I'd had them switched. Wish I'd have put the power switch over on the left side. And I wish I'd have put the skill stop on the right side. Oh well. I'm always over on the right hand side when I'm loading up. And it'd be nice to have a, the skill stop right here instead of way over here. I don't think I could really switch them because this is a square hole and this is a round hole. So I'm not gonna worry about it. But if you if you build one, you might keep that in mind. Shade Tree Mechanic requested that I do a walk around on this machine. I still got some paint to do on it. Like I say, I want to sand all this down and reshoot it again. I just have to mask off all my areas that I don't want to get paint on, which that's no problem. Mainly the sides. I understand you gotta, you gotta shoot these uh, arcade machines ever so often anyway, because they do get 
dusty and dirty and scuff marks and so we'll just we'll just get that reshot again especially over here on this side so I got this all cleared out today and uh, this is on Tuesday this this video might come out on Thursday just a quick short video to to really show you the finished product here and like I say here on the back that hole I thought about not even this is factory factory cut I mean it's nice and square so I just about didn't cut into it just make a new back for it instead of using that plywood but I kick that plywood out of there and I put this nice it's like a masonite three three sixteenths but I gotta trim that off right down there so it'll fit down in there right there My plexiglass inside there, bolted in. Right there is where that piece went, right there. That I gotta put. I couldn't put plexiglass right here because it's too thick. See, that's too thick. But I had to do it this way in order for my door to close. Couldn't get my door shut with that uh, paneling in there. I think it was 3 8 it wouldn't fit in there so I had to go to a smaller size and and this door glass in there it worked out good so okay that's gonna do this video thanks for watching